Mississippi. I want to thank you for joining us here at our studios at Anglis Artistry for our educational DVD series. In this particular DVD, we're going to be painting a reproduction redfish. When you're applying the rich brown, you want to make sure that you're still allowing all the scale work to be somewhat translucent so you can see all that nice detail. As we layer colors on here, you're going to see that uh, we still want to remain uh, intact as far as all your scale detail is concerned. You know, the line that we see in our reference picture, or the reference that you're using. I know it's a little boring to watch this, but again, if you pick up on things like what my hand's doing and some of the techniques that I use, I think you'll, I think you'll have some fun with this. Now we're going to take the Aztec Gold and we're going to climb toward the, the fins with our scales here, with our color application. We're transitioning from where we just stopped with our interference goal where we put those streaks in there and now we're just going to paint those scales in that darker area where we put the candy cranes gray down. You know, this is also an area that for myself personally I need to put some some cheaters on or some magnifying glasses on so I can see this a little bit better. And even if you still have great eyesight and you can see really close up pretty well, it's still not a bad idea to do that. And what we're doing is we're taking the charcoal to create the shape that we want. Now we're going to take some interference gold to create that lighter surface around that spot and basically what we're doing is we're wiping out our charcoal with the interference gold creating that nice ring and then we'll just basically create a, an airbrush area inside there that we can make that nice spot. And we're also going to do the edge of the caudal fin as well. As you can see I hit that outside edge and come right back up it do the same thing here. We're just going to come in and hit this bottom half. Take your time. Push the color up to it. Or two. We'll come back. We'll take a look. If there's no issues or any problems, then that'll be our final gloss coat.